Anyways, yes, I did shave, but you're probably also wondering, uh, the package, Miguel, where's the package that you promised us? Actually, it's right here. I know you guys probably seen a bunch of people open these before, but I want to show you guys what Trick or Treat Studios sent me, and yes, this is straight from Trick or Treat Studios. All right, now, so you guys have been wondering what is in this box, and the reason why I have my Chuckies over here is because it's Chucky related. Move my Chuckies over. Because we're going to get to the big one. This guy right here. I've wanted one of these for the longest now. If you guys have seen the unboxings or heard about Trick or Treat Studios, they've released a good guy's doll. Like a legit, like screen accurate. And I've always wanted one, but they always cost like thousands of dollars. And I'm like, I don't know. Oh my god, this is cool. I've already opened them. I've had them out for a while. I just wanted to put them back in here for the video purposes so you guys can see how he comes. Um, usually there's these four pieces of plastic that protects the corners and there's pla a plastic bag over him. But I've already, like I said, I've already opened them. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy that I've got one of these guys. It is $500, but it's totally worth the price that you're paying. Unless it's by uh, Garrett Zima or one of the, a custom made one, you're not gonna get a better quality doll than this one. I'm sorry. Oh my gosh, this thing is ridiculously cool. Can you guys see him? I hope so. But he's already out of, like I said, I've already opened him up and everything, so he's kind of loose in there. Your doll won't come like this. It'll come completely secured. Matter of fact, over secured. Completely over secured. Unnecessarily over secured, may I remind you. It's about impossible to take this doll out of this box. Um, there, just in case you want to see the top and the bottom. It's pretty cool because it comes with little footprints and it says Trick or Treat Studios on the bottom. I don't know if it's going to focus. There we go. See, Trick or Treat Studios and it has the little feet. All right, focus back. All right, cool. And then the side, the back, all the whole back, and then the other side. Bada bing, bada boom. All right, let's open them up. I'm getting tired. I kind of made an arrangement. I wanted it to be like in the movie, so I kind of, there, I'll have to show you. Here, I'll show you right now. So when the doll comes, there's this little area that blocks it off, but in the movie, it was a wide open, so I just cut the sides and folded it behind so I could just slide the doll in and out whenever I take them out. But most of the time, the doll will be in the box. Let's move that out of the way. I really love this box. It's a cool collector box too. So this is my doll. A lot of people have made complaints about the hair. I'd say stop complaining for real guys because again, this is an insane price for what you're getting. I'm pretty sure they're gonna up the price probably later on. If you're watching this like in a couple of years, they've probably upped the price, but if you're watching this right now, go grab yourself a doll. <laughs> go grab yourself one. But um, yeah, it's real corduroy. I don't know if you guys can see it or if my camera can pick it up, but like the it's real corduroy. Um, my printing isn't that low. I've heard the problems with the printing being low. I don't see a problem with it. I mean, it's low. Hold on, let me take the voice box out. I'll show you what that is in a second. But I mean, it's low, but it's not like, oh my gosh, the the, the posability is insane, you guys. It's like, I'm like still blown away by how poseable this thing is. I always wanted the plush body ones, you know, the ones with the plush and it was like a rag doll. I've always wanted one like that, but I'm not complaining. I've just wanted the doll. But like, I mean, it's insane. The hands rotate. If you know what these are, these uh, Funko Pop figures, it's made out of the same material, the face, and the hands are made of the same type of vinyl. And the shoes are all, the shoes actually come off. And I, that way I can, and it has real socks, sorry. Uh, it has real socks, I have them pulled up. But um, here's the shoe. This shoe is super detailed, I'm gonna try and get it. Do you guys see that detail? It's like a, they made it look like it's an actual fabric. It's not, it's all vinyl. I think these is actually a hard plastic or like, I don't know. You can tell they molded it though. But yeah, I love the shoelaces. It's so cool. This shoe, even down to the footprint. See that? This shoe is insane. I love it. I love this doll. I've always wanted one, always. I've never really owned a good guy's doll. I've owned the one that you get from Spencer's and I've owned the Glen doll, I've owned Tiffany, and I've owned the cut up Chucky face, but I've never owned an actual doll like this. But yeah guys, you can pre-order your doll right now. If you're watching this 
the day that this video came out. You can go pre-order your doll at trickortreestudios.com. Again, that's trickortreestudios.com, or you can just click the link down in the description. It'll take you straight there, straight to this doll, where you can pre-order it. If you pre-order it now, you should be able to get it in September, or around there. Um, I think mine was like the first batch. Not the Kickstarter, but after the Kickstarter. This is what, that's when mine was set. Oof, mine, mine was set. Because I ordered mine in November. I've waited a long time for this doll. Counting the years that I've wanted this doll. It was so worth it. I love the buttons and the Velcro. I forgot to show you guys, sorry. The straps are Velcro. Just like in Child's Play 2, when he checked the batteries, he was like, checking the batteries. If you're a Chucky fan, like a hardcore Chucky fan, you've always wanted a good guy, go get this doll. Like, click the link down below. Because Trick or Treat Studios, you can't get a better deal. And you better get them fast before people start charging like 10 grand for these things, which is going to happen. I'm sorry to say this. These dolls are going to be worth a lot of money. People are going to bump up the prices and other people are going to be like, oh my gosh, I don't think Trick or Treat Studios will continue selling these. My opinion, they will stop because this is really durable quality. This doll is probably expensive to make, <laughs> really expensive, but um, it just feels like it is, you know? I, I'm not sure, I'm just assuming because this is a real sweater and everything. So my estimate, it'll probably be like two years, three years, and they'll stop selling these and then people will start charging extra for them, which is stupid, but I'm not gonna let this one out of my sight. I think if anything, I'm probably gonna buy a couple of more, a couple more of them in the future. But yeah guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This doll, first off, let me zoom in real quick for you guys so you guys can see the quality of this doll. This thing is insane. I wanna give a, a thanks to Garrett Zima. You did an amazing job. Thank you for making this doll with Trick or Treat Studios, and thank you Trick or Treat Studios for selling this doll and let it, giving me this opportunity to own one of these. I am so thankful. <laughs> Anyways guys, uh, Garazima actually has a YouTube channel. You guys should go subscribe to him right now. He has really cool stuff. He has screen used good guys and screen used like Chucky stuff, move like horror. He even runs his own haunt, I think in Chicago. Uh, he was talking about how, I think he's from Chicago, I'm not sure. But guys, go subscribe to him. Maybe one day you guys definitely tell him to, you know, do a collab with me, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding guys, but definitely go subscribe to him. Get him to about 12 to 13,000 subscribers, if you can. His, his videos are pretty cool too. He gives like little insights, little how-tos with your little Trick or Treat Studios dolls. And he even makes good guy dolls. Custom makes them. However you want it. Plush, voice boxes, animatronic. He's working on an animatronic one now. Go check him out. But yeah, guys. I hope you guys like my Chucky. There he is. Hold on. You can even bend the legs. I forgot to tell you guys that. I hope you guys enjoyed this little... Oh! I almost forgot. The voice box. Okay, so a lot of people have been asking me on this group chat that I'm in with Garrett Zima and all of them. How did I get this voice box? Because the voice box that everybody's selling is like a big old rectangle thing and it like you have to cut the doll and everything. Look how big this is. And the coolest thing about this is I can record whatever I want, whenever I want, where it says record. All I gotta do is flip this there, hold this down, say whatever I want, and it'll be recorded. Right now I have this playing. I got this from Build-A-Bear. <laughs> I got this from Build-A-Bear Workshop at my uh, local mall for $10. Hi, I'm Chucky. And the coolest thing about having one this small, which is kind of what I was striving for, is so I can just slide it right here. Because in the movie, his overalls, I don't think you noticed this, but they're loose. And they look all like this. So having this, like that, doesn't really, I mean, it's when you, you notice it when it's like that. Hi, I'm Chucky, and I'm your friend to the end. If you get one of these, go to Build-A-Bear. Just go to Build-A-Bear. To prove that I can do whatever. Hi, I'm Chucky, and I'm your friend to the end. Hi, I'm Chucky, and I'm your friend to the end. Ten dollars. <laughs> I'm gonna show you how to do this too, so you guys, if you guys get one and this, you guys can do it. I go over to YouTube. And you just want to look for a Chucky voice audio, or like a good guy doll's audio. Good guy voice audio. And then the first one... Hi, I'm Chucky, and I'm your friend to the end. Check this out. 
Go to play. Anyways guys, that's it for me and Chucky, my good pal Chucky. Hi, I'm Chucky. If you guys like this video, please give this video a like and a thumbs up, it helped me a lot. This was kind of different than most of my other videos. I usually do vlogs, I just wanted to do this review on this good guy because, my god, this is the most insane purchase I've ever made. <laughs> Anyways guys, so yeah, let me know if you guys like me doing reviews on stuff, or if you don't, just still leave a comment you don't have to like the video just dislike it if you don't like it but yeah guys let me know what you think are you gonna pick one up are you gonna go look at them are you gonna continue watching youtube let me know down in the comments anyways guys that's it for this video hope you guys enjoyed make sure to subscribe to everybody that's linked down in the description also the end cards i think there will be one person in those on the screen and everybody else will be in the description hashtag stay electric and i'll see you guys in the next video